Hello, and welcome to a special episode where we're playing Dreams in the Witch House, which is a point-and-click survival game based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft, of the eponymous, I don't know if that's the right word, but the story Dreams of the Witch House. Why am I playing this? Because it's 3 a.m. and I wanted to play something and do something a little bit different. Kind of silly, so uh, yeah, I'm going to play this. Why the hell not? I'm wearing my Miskatonic University shirt. So I think this is pro appropriate. And I'm going to do something very stupid and play on Iron Man mode. <laughs> In Iron Man mode, save game slots are limited to one. And saving is only allowed when ex exiting the game. Are you sure you want to enable Iron Mad? Yes. I, I think I called it Iron Mad mode. That's appropriate. I'm going to play on normal though, because, yeah. So, whatever happens, happens. No saves coming. Nothing. Yes. Let's go. Here we are in Arkham. So, you're happy with the room? Everything is okay? Amazing voice acting. Yes, I think so. Your aunt has paid the rent for the next two months. Your room will be cleaned and your fire will be, will be replenished on Mondays. There's also a mailbox in the lobby that was reserved for you. Okay, thanks. I think I'll manage here. If you have any questions, my room is next to the stairs. Just keep the noise down and follow the house rules. Alright. My first apartment. It's nothing to write home about, but I kinda like it. Well, guess I should head out to the university, check my exam dates, and start to study. Or, I could finally start to work on my theory paper. Alright, let's have a look around. Alright, interact, yep. Simple point and click stuff. We got a map, we got a to do list, menu, space, pause the game. In this game, time is constantly going forward, unless you see this icon up here. But we'll get more into that later. To open the character bar, move the mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Uh, for more help, select Wikipedia or controls in the game's menu. So, there's our bar. The character bar displays Walter's inventory, stats, skills, and current modifiers. Hover over mouse to stats to see. What detailed value? Over the mouse over any active modifier, like Hungry Tar, to see how it's affecting Walter. So, yes, it's point and click, but it's also a survival game. So we've got hunger, we've got energy, sickness, warmth, whether or not you're dry, and injury. And here's all our stats. I'm currently 100% sane. That's going to change. I've got $12 in my wallet. I've got a map of Arkham. There's a pocket calendar. I have some food. And that's a thing, collection of my notes and layers. Right. So, let's have a look around the room first. I can't see any way to open the window. But the room is very drafty as is. I don't need to ventilate it. The lamp is working. No need to mess with it. Oh, that's our bed. We can sleep or rest, but we won't be doing that right now. Uh, family portrait. Aunt Margaret insists I put the portrait on display. But I might need this. I'll leave the frame where it is and just take the photograph. I can always put it back, if I change my mind. Ooh. We lost a tiny, tiny bit of sanity there. Interesting. I'll take the theory's papers with me. Now I can really start to work on my theory. I'm sure I'll find a good source of material in the Miskatonic University's library. Might even be able to study the rare special collection tomes. Papers on theory? These papers outline my theory, which combines mathematics with the occult. I believe that non-Euclidean calculus and Einstein's quantum physics offer new insights into the Archean folklore and the occult. Science and magic may not be such vastly different entities after all. The more I know about my source material, the faster my theory will pro progress. I need to study more of the occult before I can start to work on my theory. This is very important for everyone. I haven't really started working on my first part. Alright, so we need to get our occult stat raised up. So that means reading every every book on the occult, especially the evil ones that may drive you insane. It's a family portrait. Aunt Margaret's to the left, Aunt Hazel to the right, and I'm standing in the middle. It's a recent photograph. Who took it last Christmas? Has a bit of a gloomy atmosphere. I think most photos taken in this time period. What time period is this, actually? Oh, that's a map. 
Well, calendar, it is 1929. So yeah, most most photos in this time period would be probably slightly gloomy, I think. Oh, my maths books. Yes, I'll need those. Oh, there's a big rat hole in the wall. I hope it's uninhabited. Oh. Well, that, what was that noise? Rats? Well, given that noise in the gigantic rat hole, Walter, I think you may be onto something. No wonder he's going to Miskatonic University. I don't want to stick my hand in the rat hole. I should take a closer look to see what's inside. Uh-huh. It's very loud. It's a big, nasty rat hole. Looks empty. But the hole goes deeper into the darkness. It's too dark to see anything in there. There's also a nasty, rank-smelling odor coming from the hole. Ugh. That corner is curiously slanted. I could wait a while and listen if I hear any activity behind it. I think we have better things to do than listen to a wall, Walter. Come on. We have to go to university. It's our first day. Alright. Time advances in the background as Walter explores the world. Actions like sleeping, studying, and resting advance time for several hours. Time is stopped when examining the map, notes, or archives, or during dialogue. The crossed out clock in the symbol in the top right corner displays the game when the game is stopped. So right now it's going. We can pause at any time. Time is constantly advancing in this, so you have to be careful not to uh, waste any time. Let's have a look around. House rules. 1. No pets. 2. No children. 3. Silence begins at 9pm. 4. No overnight guests. 5. Rooms will be cleaned on Mondays at noon. Miss Rombowski runs a tight ship. I've got some mail. It's a letter addressed to me. Postage stamp is from Haverhill. Let's have a look at that now then. It's a letter from Aunt Margaret. Dear Walter, I'm doing it. I'm doing the stupid voices. I hope the move went nicely. Have you already settled in? A new city can be felt strange at first, but you'll get used to it, I'm sure. I've paid Miss Drumbowski two months' rent in advance, so don't worry about that. I'll send you your weekly allowance every Monday by mail. For motivation, should you need it, I'll send you a little extra if you do well in your exams. Needless to say, we're very proud of you. I know your mother is too, even if she can't say it. I'm sure you will make the most of this opportunity. Don't study too hard, and remember to rest. Your affectionate aunt, Margaret. P.S. I found some of your belongings still here. I'll mail them to you tomorrow. Alright. Nice of her to check up on me already. Also, good to know I can earn some extra money by doing well on my exams. Oh, my sanity went up. Back to ten. Yes. So, yeah. We need to study. We're going to, we're going to university, so studying is part of it. If we study, we get money, which will help finance our situation. Yeah, let's call it that. What else can we look at? There's a ladder over there. It's pretty rickety looking, though. It's probably used basic maintenance of the house. A bouquet? It's a rusty old bucket. A crude cloth sack is hanging on the side. That plant's almost dead. <laughs> Maybe we should speak to Miss Rombowski a bit more. Coming. Yes, what is it now? She sounds like Skeletor. <laughs> What is it now, hey man? Uh, I could ask her about the house rules, I guess. Can you tell me the house rules again? Your room will be cleaned, and your firewood will be replenished on Mondays at noon. Just keep the noise down and don't cause any trouble. Okay, thank you. Clearly she sounds Polish. Oh, we should ask about the history of the lodging house. From what I've heard, this house has a colorful history. What? I mean, I've heard rumors that apparently a... They're just rumors. You shouldn't listen to them. These thing, those things happened two centuries ago. Yes, but I'm quite interested in the topic. Could you tell me more about the history of the house? I have no time for this. Do you, do you have something else to ask? Goodbye. <clears throat> Smooth. Hey, Gag Gellman. If you want to earn some loose change, I might have some odd jobs for you. Oh my. What kind of work are we talking about? Raking the yard, cleaning the rain gutters, and so forth. Is I, uh, I'm going to assume those are all euphemisms. It's a big house, so there's lots of chores to do. I'll keep that in mind. Right, goodbye then. Smooth, Walter. Smooth. 
All right. Let's go to the university. Aha. Drombowski's lodging house. It's the Drombowski lodging house. I heard it's supposed to be over 200 years old, which for Americans is quite significant, isn't it? No wonder it's starting to fall apart. Anything else to look at? The door? Front door to the... Yeah, the front door. Uh, oop. Boarded up window. There's a boarded window in the attic. I didn't notice when I moved my things here. Alright, let's go. To the city. And here's our map of Arkham. Uh, there's the Miskatonic University. We also have a coffee house and downtown, but we'll see those later. We should really get to the university. Miskatonic University. Ever since I was a little boy, I've wanted to study here. I must make the most of this opportunity. I don't know what's going on in his voice. The voices are mostly for me. I'm having fun doing them, so... Whatever. I should check my course schedule and see what book I need to study. Look at this fucking point, Dexter. Get out of the way, nerd. Uh, my next course is Theoretical Astronomy. The required reading is the for the course is The Starry Messenger. No, it should be it should be available in the library upstairs. The next lecture is March 3rd. The next exam is March 11th. I'll add the dates to my calendar. Alright, so two days. Ooh, we don't have much time to study up on that one. And this is a point and click adventure, so good idea is to get a pen and paper, or in my case, a whiteboard, and write that down. I'm going to write down the starry messenger. Just to keep track. Alright, I should have paused the game, because time is advancing. Alright, um, well, let's talk to the librarian and see how this stuff works. Excuse me? Yes? She's got the same voice as the old lady. I'd like to borrow a book. Can you tell me how it works? Certainly. You see that card ca file cabinet over there? Yes. It contains index cards that have been book titles in alphabetical order. Use the file cabinet on your book's index card. The card will show your book's collection and the author's name. When you have that information, enter the library. Find the cor correct collection number and search the books by the author's name. When you found your book, bring it here for checkout. You must have a student card to borrow books. But you can also study them here without it. Alright. But what if I want to search the books by category? The card file cabinet has an index lock in the bottom corner. It is categorized in the list of all books in the library. Thanks. Let's ask about the student card. That seems important. I'd like to know about this more about the student card. Certainly. With the card, you can have two books borrowed at the same time. The card costs $2, but I also need a recent headshot photograph from you. I have a recent family photo that I'm in. That won't do. Ah. It has to be a small headshot picture, not a regular photo. I see. And where can I get this photograph? There's Prescott's Photography Studio on Church Street. It's a little bit expensive, but they work fast. Alright, I'll add that location to my map. Did she just did he just say that to her? I she just sat like, sir, I don't care. Why do you have a map? It's not that big of a town. Alright. We need to get a student card, but we need a headshot. There are ways around this. There are many ways to do this. I will try one using the uh, photo that I've already got, but we'll get to that later. I understand that you have a special collection of rare and unusual books. How can I borrow them? You can't. Oh. Huh? Head librarian, Dr. Armitage, changed the policy about a year ago. The special collection books are kept separately from the other books for safety reasons. But surely it's possible to study them? Yes, it is. You can reserve time to study the books here at the university. All inquiries about the special collection go to Dr. Armitage. His office is through the door to your right. Okay, I'll go see him then. I'm sorry, but Dr. Armitage is, is absent at the moment. He should be available in a day or two. I see. There may or may not have been a very peculiar man asking to read a certain book... Because Arkham has a copy, and I forget what it's called, but they have a, they have a copy that most other places don't. You probably all know what that is. I don't know if that's happened yet. We'll see. Goodbye. All right. Well, first things first, we'll look for... It's either going to be under T or S. Let's go for T. We're going to look for the starry messenger. You can shuffle the papers quickly using the arrow keys on the mouse wheel. 
No razor lore. Ooh. Very quick, watch this. Oh, I saw the turning of the screw there. The turning of the screw has been adapted so many times. Um, oh, is it the others? There's so many ad adaptations of this story, it's insane. It, the others was one... There's like a house on Haunted Hill, the haunt. It's all of those are ad adaptations of the turning of the screw. Ooh. Right, it must be under S. Do, do, do. There it is. The Starry Messenger by Galilei Galileo. It is in collection. Find a collection. Four in the library. Right, let's go find the collection for right now. Just so I know where it is. I can see all the plaques up here. Two. Ah. The plaque shows the categories of the book stored in each collection. Collection four. Astronomy, mathematics, and physics. We're going to be using that one a lot. Oh, there's a diorama here. It's a diorama of the university campus. There's the library, the school of medicine, and the faculty office building. The quad and the dormitories. The attention to detail is good, but not great. <laughs> wow, Walter. Nice. What does it take to impress you? My study book should be here somewhere. The author of the book was Galileo. So I need to look through the books under the letter G. Where are we? K. I. G. Ooh. Ooh, there's start of G. There it is up there. Right. <laughs> I can't reach it. Damn it, Walter. And here I thought you had stretchy powers. Hold and release for a bigger push. Nah, that's fine. Wait, no, actually, it's not fine. Damn it, Walter! <laughs> you weakling! It's gonna be a... It's gonna be a thing. There we go. Right, so we just need to remember where that is. The music is the, in this is fantastic. It's done by Tro Troy Sterling Niece, who has done a lot, a lot of uh, music for several Lovecraftian adaptations, including, I think, uh, I think he did the Call of Cthulhu silent movie. I'll put them on screen now. Very good music. Damn. All right. So, what time of day is it? It is noon. We could sit down and start reading the Starry Messenger. That seems like it would be appropriate. We need it for the upcoming exam. Exam skill represents Walter's knowledge on the current course subject. 10 being the maximum, reading the course book will increase the skill and unlock exam answers. If the subject is math-based, Walter's math skill will be added to the exam skill. Oh, bing, bing. Four largest moons of Jupiter are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. I'm hungry. <laughs> I should get by to eat. So... Those are random facts, but they will come up on the test. So those little things that he reads out there, they'll come up on the test, so you should pay attention to that. It is dusk, we should... Oh! Wait a minute, mister! Did you forget to check out your books? I'm sorry, I guess I did. Give them to me. Check them out before you leave. Okay, okay. Jeez. Excuse me. I'll like to return this book. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. And what's really messed up is he came to this university and he didn't even get a student card. It's a painting of an authoritative yet kindly looking pale old man. <laughs> That's everyone. Small plaque reads, Dr. Alan Halsley. Oh. 1865 to 1925. I remember reading about his heroic actions during the typhoid plague many years ago. Uh, so, yeah. Dean's Halsley... Dr. Alan Halsey, that's a reference to Reanimator. Portrait of a rugged elderly man with a fiery look in his eyes. The small plaque reads, Henry Cutler, first president of Miskatonic University. I don't recognize that name. Don't remember what story he's in. But the other guy is, uh, yeah, Halsey's from Reanimator. Right, so... So we could go to Prescott's Photography and pay money to get a photo. Or we could do it another way. That's it's a lot too. It's a lot of money, and then we need to get the photo, and then we need to buy the student card. So it's a lot of expense, and we don't have much. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm hungry, is go get something to eat at the coffee house. Eating at the coffee house restores three levels of hunger. 
Having a coffee removes tiredness for a while and restores a small amount of hunger. You enter the coffee house. What are you having? Let's have a meal. This should keep the hunger away for a while. Do, do, do. Get your newspaper! Oh god, this kid. Oh, while we're here, we could have a look at the general store, see what they've got. I don't want a newspaper, kid. Not now. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the First National. Our selection is the finest in the city. What you don't find here, you don't need. Now, what will it be? Uh, purchase items. Here's what we have. All right, we can get some rations, some cigarettes, glue, some razor blades, a raincoat, a thermal underwear, and a flashlight. Now, raincoat and thermal underwear is going to be very important. We should get those eventually. Flashlight, depending on what we do, it might come in useful, but it's not immediately useful right now. We don't really need any of this, but it's just nice to know it's there. Get your newspaper, sir. Please, I'm dying. I need, mo I need money for food and shelter. I don't know why he's from London. It's the only voice I can do. <laughs> a good evening, sir. I have the same voice as the guy from across the street. We have remedies for whatever may ill you. Ton tonics and elixirs from gout to gonorrhea. So those two things. Oh, tried and tested quality products. Now, how can I help you? So, here's what we have. This is where we can get cold medicine, wax and earplugs, sleeping pills, and pain reliever. All medicines. We don't need them all right now. We may in the future. I'm going to go punch this child. <laughs> Give me a newspaper. Hello. Don't know why I said that. Good evening, sir. Do I want to buy a newspaper? It's money. And ah, nah, fuck him. <laughs> Take care. I'll sur I'll I hope I'll see you again later, sir. I think I'll survive another night in the cold. I hope he doesn't. Alright. Let's go back home. <laughs> well, it's pretty productive day. We went to university. We read a book. What more could you want? Right, so it is the evening. So, what we can do, since uh, we have some maths, we can study maths. Why not? Kill some time. This is what life was like before television, before the internet, before social media. It was you, in your room, alone. And that's that. Let's go to get some sleep. Getting a good night's sleep is very important. It reduces tiredness and sickness and heals injuries. A good sleep also grants a small sanity bonus. If the sleep is disturbed, the positive effects are much lower. Hmm. You mean disturbed like this? What a lousy sleep. I can hear rats scurrying around inside the walls. Damn those rats. Oh well. Let's, uh, maybe we can speak to Miss Rombowski about that. Oi, Skeletor. Coming. Yes, what is it now? The scurrying of the rats is distracting me. I can't sleep because of it. It's a very old house, so of course there'll be rats. Just try to ignore them. You'll get used to the sound. Or if you can't, buy a pair of earplugs. Ugh. Well, we could buy some earplugs. Hmm. And to do that, we might be able to do some of the odd jobs. You mentioned that you could offer some work. Yeah, I could use some help around the house. And the payment? Two dollars for a day's work. Let's see what needs to be done. The yard could use raking. It's covered with leaves and fallen branches. Easy work. And there are rain gutters. <laughs> I can't, I'm losing it. They're clogged and could use some cleaning. <laughs> You're not afraid of heights, are you? What else was there? Yes, firewood. There's a big pile of wood in the backyard that needs chopping. Do you want to know how to handle an axe? So, do you want to do the job or not? Let's, the, let's rake the yard. That sounds easy. I could rake the yard. Very well. The yard is covered with soggy, half-rotten leaves and fallen branches. You grab the rake and get to work. The weather is perfect for outdoor labor, and time flies by quickly. So, weather will affect this somewhat. I rake the yard. Very well. Here's your payment. Two dollars for a day's work. Eight hours that took me. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's dusk. Oh, God. I need to go to the university quick. <laughs> 
I spent the entire day raking. I mean, it's not, I don't have a lecture today, but there's stuff to do. Like this over here. Missing. Lost student card somewhere in the main building. If found, please return to Alison Whitman or the library. Additional information, library information front desk. One dollar reward offered. Hmm. Let's go find out. Do, do. Excuse me. How may I help you? Uh, let's ask about the missing student card. I noticed that somebody had lost their student card. Could you tell me more about it? Oh, yes. There is a small reward for the finder of the card, and it's supposed to be somewhere here in the university building. If you want more details, please ask the, ask the person who lost the card. And who's that? A girl called Alison Whitman. I believe she's in the library now. She has a blue shirt and dark hair. Okay, thanks. Let's go find Alison. Oh! Well, that might be her there. Excuse me? Yes? Are you Alison Whitman, the one who had lost their student card? Yes! Have you found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Drat. I really need the card for the upcoming exams. I'd hate to have to buy a new one. Hmm. Do you have any idea where the card might be? I'm sure it's somewhere around here in the university. What were you doing the day it was lost? You what? Yes, what? <laughs> oh. <coughs> I returned some books to the library in the morning. After that, I attended a lecture. What next? Yes, I went to the archives to search the materials for my essay. I was already getting it was already getting dark when I noticed I'd lost the card. The university was closing, so I had to leave the building. And that's all? Pretty much, yes. Hmm. What books? What were the names of the books you returned to the library on the day you lost the card? The first was a book called Confessions of St. Augustine. Okay, let's write that down. The second was the yellow wallpaper. I know that story. Right, we got those written down. You said you were searching for research materials in the university's archives. Yes, that's correct. What materials were you looking for? Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, I remember now. I was studying the Miskatonic exhibit at Paris Exposition. Oh god, that's so much to write down. Miskatonic... <laughs> exhibit... Goodbye. So, you'll help me find the card? I uh, sure. Why not? Yes, I'll help you. I think it's a good chance to find the, uh, we have a good chance to find the card if we follow all the clues. That's very nice of you. All right, I'll get back to it. I think proper introductions in order. Alison Whitman, Walter Gilman. Yes, don't laugh. It's my real name. I don't know anyone here yet, so it's nice to meet a friendly face. Are you a freshman or? Yes, I just started here. Me too. If you ever need a study partner, let me know. We might be able to help each other. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Miskatonic exhibition power. Oh God, I think. Oh God, I think it's. I think it's night time. Oh, it's dusk. Well, so there's several places we can check, but we're running out of time. I can check the classroom. I can check the archives downstairs, which is through this door. We haven't been through there. Oh no, it's closed. I missed my chance. Damn it. It's locked. All right, let's go back up. Let's try and look for uh, the yellow wallpaper. Might be an easy one. Why? I need to be quick here. War and Peace. No. Do, 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 do. Uh, yellow wallpaper. This is the book that Allison returned recently. By Charlotte Perkins. Gilman? Ooh, another Gilman. I didn't realize that was uh, written by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I wonder... So... Gilman is a name that's used a couple times in H.P. Lovecraft's work, uh, most notably in Shadow of Innsmouth, but we'll get to that later. I wonder if he named the character after her. Interesting. Let's see. It is in 6 Fiction under Gil. You know, if this thing is in there, that's very fortuitous. Let's have a look. I don't know why I'm speaking like this now. I've just got into the habit from voicing these characters. Right, Gil, 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 Gil. Oh, there it is right there. It's a yellow one. <laughs> Big surprise, it's the yellow one. The yellow wallpaper. Let's have a look here. Hopefully it's in here, because that would be fantastic. 
Yellow wallpaper by Sh uh, Charlotte Perkins Gilman. No relation, as far as I know. Nice. Nothing here. Damn it. <laughs> Put it back. Ah. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been really nice if uh, we managed to find it. The other one was Confessions of St. Augustine, I think. Gotta work quick. Doot, 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 doot. Book of Ebon. Book of Confessions. Confessions of St. Augustine. That is in 5. Biography. S-I-A. Bio. S. A-I even. I can't read. <laughs> Which is bad, because this is mostly reading. Uh, oh, over here. Collection 5. Now, I may run out of time. Right. So, P -p 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 S. There it is there. Push. Oh, I think I went too far. Or not far enough. Nope, too far. Difficult. Alright, let's see. Confessions of St. Augustine by St. Augustine. <laughs> Nothing. Bah! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, right. Tomorrow, we'll have to try another couple places because right now it's getting a bit too late. So we need to head home. We've got the lecture hall. Ah, we won't be able to use the lecture hall tomorrow because I think I have a lecture. We'll see. So I'll have to try down into the archives. But for the moment, let's go home. It's dusk. How are... Uh, I'm peckish. I'm a bit tired. You know what? It's fine. We'll go home. Do, do, do. Check the mill. It's empty. Ooh! A rat! Disgusting! Probably has a nest between the walls. I need to mention to Miss Strombowski. There's a big rat. Get out of here, you skeleton. Hello. Yes, what is it now? There was a big rat in my room. It came from the rat hole in the corner of my room. Can you do something about, about it? Oh dear. Wait a moment. I'll go get a piece of wood and nails. Then you can nail it a dead shot. I don't know what is going on with this voice. <laughs> it's just going all over the place. I'm trying to give her an old lady voice. It's not working. Joe Merritt borrowed my hammer, but he hasn't returned it. He never remembers to bring anything what he borrows. Go ask Merowitz to give you back your hammer back, back, back. He's in room number one. Here's a plank and some nails. Thank you. Can you stop talking? Oh, <laughs> Merowitz should be back from work by now. Very well. Now, was that all? Yes, because doing your voice is hurting my throat. <laughs> this, was a, this was a huge mistake. Let's go. <laughs> it's open. Why am I doing this? Excuse me. Yes. I'm Walter Gilman, a fellow lodger here. Miss Rombowski said that you have her hammer. Can I borrow it? Oh, yes. I forgot all about it. I'm a bit busy right now, but you can come in. It's laying around here somewhere. I'm sure you can find it yourself. Oh, okay. I'll look around then. Uh, oh, there's lots of... Oh, scissors. Now. Can I borrow these scissors for a moment? Sure. Just give them back when you're done. I'll need them again in a minute. Alright, thanks. Now, with those scissors, we can cut up this photo. Let's see if I can cut up my headshot without damaging the portrait too much. Great. I totally ruined the family portrait. At least I got my headshot photograph out of it intact. Oh, my sanity. But we do have a headshot, and that saves us some money. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry I got hurt. Right, let's have a rummage. Here's a crowbar. I don't think I need it just now. Nothing here I want to take. It's locked. What about this crate? Nothing interesting here. Move this out of the way. Ooh. There's a shiny thing in there. Looks like there's something shiny inside the hole. But I can't fit my hand through the hole. I need to remove the floorboard, but I need some tools for that. What about the crowbar? I might have use for this crowbar. Ooh. 
Hey, Joe. <laughs> There's something under the floorboard. You don't mind if I just rip that thing up, do you? Can I remove it and see what's inside? What? Uh, well, I guess so. When you find the hammer, you can put the board back in place. If I find the hammer. Alright, let's see what's inside. There's a pair of tweezers here. I don't need them right now. Damn it. Alright, let's have a look at the other side of the room. There's nothing in the crate. I'll make some space here. Move this out of the way. Hmm. It's a can of glue. Joe probably uses it in his work. Looks like some sort of valve or gear. It's probably part of a loom. Nothing here that I can use as a hammer. No, nothing there. Nothing there. I can't reach it, it's too high. It's locked. Did I check this if I want to? Locked. Right, maybe if we use the chair. Let's use the chair over here first. We might get lucky and it's on top. Nothing here. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, it's it's quite the search. And uh, this is randomized every time you play it, so I have no idea where it could be. Various woodworking tools, but nothing I need right now. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where it could be. Oh, the rug. Let's see if there's something under the rug. Oh, what have we here? Mm, might be useful. I should take it. Let's try it on these locked cabinets. Found the hammer. Great. It's all yours. I don't need it anymore. Well, that turned out to be quite easy. Anyway, we should fix his floor. Because, uh, yeah. I bet nail these back into place. Good old Joe. We'll do it for him. Done. Thanks, Waller. And you can have your crowbar back. There. Thanks. Alright. Let's get upstairs and, uh... Oh, you know what? We'll give him his scissors back, too. Right. Let's go upstairs and seal that hole. See you around, Waller. Where did you say your room was? Uh, the Garrett Gable room in the right wing. No! What is it? You sh she should know better than rent that room. What? Ask Miss Drumbasket to give you another room. Why? It's getting late. Let's talk where later. Stay safe, Walter. Hmm. You got the feeling he didn't tell me everything he knows. Maybe I can somehow persuade him to tell me more. Wanna check the mail? Nothing. <laughs> Damn it. I just I you know what? Wishful thinking. Alright. Let's get this covered up. Let's seal the hole. That will keep the beast away. Got some sanity back. Right, what time is it? It is evening. We could do a bit of studying. And then tomorrow, we get up bright and early. We get to the university. We find Allison's card. And we get her... What the hell is... The noise of scurrying rats around distracted my studies. I'm very tired. Yes. Ooh, very tired. Let's get some sleep. Hopefully I can get some sleep through the... Oh. Damn it. We're gonna have to buy some earplugs. The rats kept me awake. Oh no! The rat hole cover's been devoured. The rats must be ravenous. I have a lecture today. Hmm. I'm very tired. So... Let's go talk to Miss Drombowski and tell her she's useless. Coming. Yes, what is it now? The rats have devoured the plank that I used to cover the rat hole in my room. Do you have another I could use? No, that was the only plank. The only plank in Massachusetts. Where are we? Well, what are we, what are we going to do about this issue? I can't have rats running around my room. Go and ask Merowitz. He hauls all kinds of junk in his place. Lumber, scrap metal, and whatnot, not. Very well, I'll ask him then. Good. Hmm. I had a little chat with Joe Merowitz, Mazeritz, I don't know how to say his name, and he said that I should get another room. What? He wouldn't tell me, but he was quite upset when he heard where my room is. Would you happen to know what he meant? Merowitz is a drunk and a superstitious fool. You shouldn't listen to his ramblings. 
You know, they'll give you ideas. Yes, but there's nothing wrong with the room. I checked in Clinit thoroughly before you moved in. Now, do you have anything else to ask, or is that it? All right, all right, I'm going to leave because you just... I don't want to deal with you, nor do I want to do your voice anymore. Ooh, there's a package. Package is addressed to me. It's from Aunt Margaret. Let's see what we have here. Medicine balls. There's cold medicine and a bunch of painkillers. Good to be prepared. Yeah, you know what? Useful. Very, very useful. So once again, that, whatever item you were sent there, that is completely randomized. But, not bad. Not bad. Let's go to the coffee house and have myself a coffee. One dollar for a coffee and a donut. That's a bargain, is it? I'm not sure if it is. Much better. I don't feel that tired anymore. Okay, so that's giving us a little bit of a buff to our tired levels. We should go to the university to attend our lecture. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It is noon. Let's go into the auditorium. Galileo's lunar observations showed that the surface of the moon was not smooth and perfectly spherical. In fact, it was pitted with craters and had tall mountains. Good thing I had that coffee, otherwise I would have dozed off. Alright. I can't go back in, can I? It's locked. Damn it. They locked me out. They knew. They knew. Okay, let's go upstairs and buy our student card. Excuse me. How may I help you? Hmm, buy the student card. I'd like to buy the student card. Do you have a recent photograph of you? Yes. Very good. Two dollars, please. Here you go. And your name is... Walter Gilman. All right. It usually takes a day or two for the card to be ready. When it's done, I'll have it here for you. Very well, thanks. Right, so... Oh, it's dusk. It's dusk already. Let's quickly go down to the archive room, and we can try... Turn that light on. We can try and find where Allison maybe left her stuff. Oh god, there's an old guy, which means I need to do an old guy voice. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes! <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this to myself? What can you tell me about the records stored here? University archives are different types of memos and records. Some of them are published by Miskatonic University and deal with the administration and history of the building. Some are old newspapers, some are documents from former students. Then there are the additional collections dealing with Massachusetts local history. I see. H uh, how can I find the record I want to examine? Use the index book on the table. Everything is organized there. Just look for the archive room number and the box codes. Just don't take any material when you with you when you leave the archives. They're just for studying here. I'm gonna ask him more questions even though I don't want to do that voice. What are you working on now? Indexing the archives is still unfinished and more material is coming in all the time. Oh my god. Work never ends here. I'm covered in cobwebs. I've been here for 60 years. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Uh, so, Miskatonic University Records. We're looking at the, we're looking for the Paris ex Exhibition. Hmm, publications, Paris... Ah, there we go. Room 4, 75, 6. I'm gonna write that down. 75, 6, in room 4. Let's go there now. We Hopefully, it'll be here, because then... Uh, oh, it's right there, look. 75, 6. The box is filled with files. It will take some time to go through them. These are documents that Allison was examining. Not really interested in the papers, though. Hmm. Hmm. Drat. Nothing here. Well, that means there's only one more location, and that is the auditorium where the lectures take place. But we'll have to do that another day because it is getting late. What's. I'm hungry. But I'm not hungry that it's... Well, I'm, I've lost one health. I have nine dollars. That's some very somber music happening there. It is March 3rd. My exam is on March 11th. Hmm. Tell her what we'll do. Oh, you know what? Let's go get something to eat. And then let's go buy some earplugs. 
because the rats keep annoying me. Keeping me awake at night. Please, sir. Uh... Wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> what's, the, what's the kid's voice? It's like a little urchin. Good evening, sir. Yep. Right. Two dollars. No, no, not the cold medicine. We've already got some of that. Wax and earplugs. That's what we need. These wax and earplugs block noise very effectively and guarantee a good night's sleep and a tranquil repose. Thank you. Right, let's head home. Well, we'll head. Oh, hello. Walter. Isn't this a surprise? Hello, Allison. Let's make some small talk. How's it going? Good. I had to take care of a few things downtown. Heading home soon. We could ask her to hang out. I mean, let's, let's, let's try. Um, would you like to... Yes? Spit it out? Do you want to do something together? I have some free time. Maybe a cup of coffee. That sounds great. I could use a cup of coffee. Great. Let's get going then. Nice. Oh, we can ask about the studies, talk about the weather. <laughs> Walter, where's your riz? Come on. Uh, let's ask about Arkham, though. We don't know much about this place. What do you think of Arkham as a city? It's alright. You can find pretty much anything you need here. And if you can't, Boston's not far away. The university, of course, is a big part of the city. Without it, I would have applied to Princeton or St. John's College. What about the dark rumors and old witch legends? Those things do make the imagination run, don't they? I personally find them very interesting. In the anthropological sense, of course. Oh, of course. I like places that have history. And Arkham has over a free, <laughs> 300 years of it. This was nice, but I need to get going. See you around. Ooh. Oh, it's night time. Oh. We're a way past our bedtime. But, we can go for the trash. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Oh, there's some leftover food. <laughs> Looks alright. Oh god, Walter, you've been here two days. Hmm. I could try and seal the rat hole with that. It's no good. The sign is nailed too tightly to the wall. I can't remove it with my bare hands. What about my hammer hands? Let's see if I can pry the sign off using the hammer. Got it. Not my finest hour, but I really need this. Alright, let's head home. <laughs> Didn't realize it was that late. No new mail. Very sinister music at night. Now. I could use the tin sign now. But I'm not going to. I'm too sleepy. I'll put the earplugs in just in case. I slept well. Oh great, it's raining. Maybe I'll stay indoors today, or buy a raincoat. How much money do I have? Four dollars. This is the this is the point where we need to make a decision. So I could go to the university. See if the lecture hall is open and try and find Allison's card, but I will get wet in the process. Or I could stay in all day and study maths. <laughs> Which, even saying that, is, is uh, ridiculous. I'm bad at maths. I don't care how many books you've got. Um, you know what? I'm going to chance it. I'm going to chance it and I'm going to go to the university. No new mail. This is uh, gonna go well. I should get indoors before I get drenched. Ooh, it's open. Ah. Somebody's left the door unlocked. I guess I could take a quick peek inside. Okay. So, first things first, I immediately see the carpet. I can't lift the carpet. It's been nailed to the floor. Aha! The handy hammer comes in handy again. Let's remove some of the nails. Done. Fuck. <laughs> All that effort, there's nothing there. Alright, let's uh, look for the benches then. 
No sign of the missing student card here. No sign of the missing student card there. Hmm. Trash can? Let's see what's inside. Nothing here. What about the cabinet? The door's locked. I can't open it. There's chemical bottles on the other side of the glass. I believe they're used for chemistry experiments performed here in the auditorium. What about the drawers? Nothing interesting here. There's a foldable ruler here. I'll borrow it for a while and return it when I'm done. Nothing interesting here. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> Today we'll be talking about... No, this is silly. Large block wand used for during lectures. It's been wiped clean. Alright. Under the cabinet. There's a paper with lecture notes, but I don't need that. Let's see if there's something else there. I can't reach there properly. My hand will, uh, can't fit all the way. Luckily, we have a foldable ruler. Let's see if I can use the ruler to probe around what's under the cabinet. Nothing there. Hmm. What about this? I don't think it'll help me open... No. Oh, really? Latch. Ah. If we click on the latch, though... Oh, oh, careful. Oh, it's so delicate. There we go. Nailed it. That was almost too easy. They need to beef up their security. Hmm, cabinet is filled with a bunch of chemicals. They're probably used in chemistry lessons. Better not mess around with them. They could be dangerous. I need to study chemistry if I want to know more. The university's library might have a suitable book for that. Oh, we got a new task. So yeah, all these chemicals, we can't really do anything with them just yet, though. So where could this card be? Let's check all the benches. Nope. 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 This is interesting because I usually find it. Where could it be? I, I've... I, well, this is a predicament because I've literally searched everywhere. And I can't find the student card. I looked at both books. I looked down in the archives. I've checked everywhere in here. How peculiar. I usually find it by now. Because if memory serves me right, I've checked everywhere you can possibly check. Hmm. That's not good. No, nope. I'm gonna check underneath here again just in case. How peculiar. I would I would have thought this would have been the last place. I'll return the ruler. I would yeah, I would have thought this would have been the last place to find it. Which means there's another location that I'm not aware of. Interesting. Hmm. How very odd. Well, I'm stumped. I don't know where else it could be. How very odd. Well, I'm going to have to have a think about that and go through everything again. Because I cannot find that card. Strange. So... I've just realized what I didn't do last time. What I didn't do last time is you... There it is. <laughs> oh, it's literally the first one. So, what I did last time was I just flicked through them. But no, you actually need to lift them up. Well. That was silly. <laughs> I can't believe it was the first one to... Oh, boy. Anyway, let's go find Allison and give her a card back. Which will get us a dollar. Which I could do with because I've only got four dollars. Oh, is my student card ready? Yes. Is my student card ready yet? What was your name again? Walter Gilman. Let's see. Yes, I have it right here. Enjoy your new card. Thanks. Alright. Oh, we can ask about chemistry books. Can you recommend me a book on chemistry? Something that's suitable for a novice and teaches the basic concepts. Let's see. Try Anthony Dale's Beginner's Guide to Chemistry. That's simple. You'll find it in Section 3. Thanks. Have you seen Miss Whitman recently? I believe she's in the library. Alright, good. 
Let's go find Allison and give her a card back. Oh, she's right there. Fantastic. Hello again. Hi, Walter. Any luck finding my student card? I have it right here. Look at that. Thank you so much. I'd almost given up hope. I promised a reward for finding the card. Here's a dollar for your efforts. A dollar. All right. What are you up to? Just inspecting the miniature. Trying to figure out the layout of the campus. I see. You said you could use a study partner. That's right. Studying alone can get so boring after a while. Do you have theoretical astronomy too? I do. So, would you like to study together? Yes. I think that having a study partner might help my grades. Great. I'm busy during the week, but we could meet up next weekend. Is Saturday alright? Yes, I think so. Where shall we meet? Let's meet at the coffee house, okay? They have a free refill of coffee. Ooh. Around midday, okay? Works for me. Great. I'll see you at the coffee house the next Saturday. Right. I'll mark the date down. Goodbye. See you. Alright, cool. We have a study date. Uh, let's get uh, the starry messenger while I'm here. Aw, oh, Walter. <laughs> like the fact that I'm blaming him. Alright, and we could... We can take two books out. Uh, a beginner's guide. It was in section three, I think she said. Let's get the beginner's guide to chemistry too. Why not? I don't know who made it though, so I'll scan over the books. No. Books, 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 books. I may have to go look this up. That guy's in the way. He's just another student. I don't know him. <laughs> I don't trust the looker. Alright, let's go look it up because otherwise I'm going to be there for hours and we don't have hours. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there it was right there. Beginner's Guide to Chemistry. D-A-L. Section 3, D-A-L. Ooh, oh god, you're in the way, aren't you? Damn it. It's up, it's up there. Ah. Right, try not to injure this man with your reckless ladder throwing, Walter. Wait, where is it? Oh no. Oh no, he did it too much. Just a tiny bit. There it is. <laughs> it's difficult. Alright, we have our two books. Let's go check them out. And then we can take them home. Oh, it's still the morning. We can actually study here, you know? Rather than go out and get wet. Excuse me. I'd like to borrow this book. Certainly. Can I see your student? You just give me it. You know it's me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gilman. Oh, that was aggressive. Have a good day, sir. I'm not done yet. I wish you could book two at once. I'd like to borrow a book. Certainly. Lizzie doesn't need to, she doesn't need to check my student ID anymore. Right, so we have the Starry Messenger. We have one point in one point six points in exam, sorry. And I have seven days to get this up. We can leave the chemistry. The reason I say that will become apparent later on. But we should probably study this while I'm here. Instead of going all the way home. Galilei's linear telescope could magnify up to twenty times. Hmm. Five hours pass. It's the afternoon. Hey, let's go for another round. Oh, look at that gentleman. Luna Mountains are approximately four miles high. I'm very tired. Yeah, I'm not surprised, really. Did I just lose sanity? Right. Well, I think that was a pretty successful day. We got some studying in. We got Alice's card. We arranged a meeting at the weekend. We can study together. I think it's pretty good. Yes, this is a Lovecraftian thing. I'm soaking wet. Walter is drenched. When Walter is freezing or drenched for a few hours, there's a possibility that he'll get sick. Best way to avoid this is warm up by the fireplace. If Walter is already sick and gets drenched or freezing cold, the sickness will increase significantly faster. We need to get inside. Right, let's go ask Joe if he has a bit of wood. It's open. Hi, Walter. Come on in. Thanks. What's up? Hey, Joe, where are you going with that gun in your hand? Yeah? Uh, what's wrong with my room? You mentioned something that was wrong with it. Can you specify why I should change my room? Oh, probably nothing. Forget it. 
You sounded quite serious when we spoke about it. Well, it's in bad condition. There's mold in the inner walls and so on. You should get a better place if possible. I see. Well, do you have another piece of wood I can take? I have a rat hole in my room I'm, that I'm trying to seal. Damn varmints. Varmints. The house is full of them. Let me see. Uh, nope. Don't think I have any right now. Ask again in a day or two. Think of some later. Alright. I'll let you get back to your work. See you around, Walter. Let's check the mail. Damn. Alright, so let's... Oh, I'm drenched. Chance to get sick. I'm drenched and very tired. So, what I should do is take some logs out of the chest over here. Go for the fire. And put the fire on, which will dry me up. Ooh. Let's light the fire. I'm hungry. How hungry? Eh, you're fine. Okay, so we're wet, but we're getting drier. I'm very tired. It is the late evening. Hmm. So, if I try and study my Starry Messenger, I'm going to take a certain percent chance, like a, I think it was a minus 25 to study, but if we study chemistry, it doesn't matter. Because that is not a percentage based thing. I'll put my e plugs in just in case. Seems I have a lot to learn about chemistry. Alright. Let's get some sleep. Because the chemistry book will. Yeah, I slept well. So if we look at the chemistry book, I have one instead of a percentage. Oh, it's noon. Oh, I slept a long time. I'm hungry and rested. Right. What should we do today? I could just stay in. But it would probably be better if I went to the university to study. Yeah. I mean, I just checked a few hours ago. I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, well. Right, let's go to the university. I may try and see if uh, the professor is in. Because I could do with talking to him. Because ultimately we want to be able to get to the special collection. Uh, there's over time to study the books at the university. Or inquiries about the special collection go to Dr. Armitage. His office is through the door to the right. Alright, let's go talk to him then. I'll ask Dr. Armitage about the special collection. Come in, the door is open. Which old man voice am I going to give him? Yes. Um, hello. I'm Walter Gilman. I'm a first year student. I just started here at Miskatonic. Gilman. Ah, from Haverhill, was it? Yes, I've moved here quite recently. Very good. I remember your application. You had an interesting, if not a little provocative, theories about some of the mathematical concepts. Personally, I think it's always a good thing. We need to shake off the old cobwebs every now and then. So, what can I do for you? Well, we could play nice and ask about his work, I guess. What kind of duties do you have as the Miskatonic University's chief librarian? They are too long and varied to describe, but to put it briefly, I run and coordinate the library department. I lead the other librarians and vo student volunteers. I also do material acquisition and constantly examine book reviews and catalogues for new, interesting findings. And you also oversee the special collection? Yes, my specialty is knowledge of rare and uncommon volumes. You could say that the special collection is the apple of my eye. Without any bragging, it's one of the world's most comprehensive collections of occult and esoteric tomes. I see. I'd like to ask you about the special collection. Sure, what do you have in mind? Hmm. Let's ask about the background. What is the special collection actually? To put it shortly, it is a collection of rare and old books. It's one of the highlights of this university. We have tomes that don't exist anywhere else. Currently, they are being locked behind locked doors and available with only my permission. I see. Why is the access to the special collection limited? The books in the special collection are very rare, and many of them are in fragile condition. The collection is invaluable and won't we don't want people to damage them anymore. 
And to be honest, there's been suspicious persons wandering around the university, trying to borrow the old books. The kind of treasure that attracts all kinds of people, even from the opposite side of the world. Also, many of the books contain disturbing information and are not for the faint-hearted. I would recommend exploring the woods unless you have an important reason. So currently, only professors and select students are allowed to study the books. I see. I'd like to examine the special collection. And why would you want to do that? Hmm. I'm working on a theory that I believe that the books in the special collection would help. What kind of theory is it? I believe the mathematics and the old folktales and spells may have something to do with each other. Mixing non-Euclidean calculus and quantum physics with the arcane and the occult seems to offer interesting new views. Certain geometrical shapes found in old Gothic buildings, for example, reflect the new findings of mathematics and physics. Maybe science and magic aren't that far apart from each other after all. That sounds fascinating. You are certainly in the right place to study this. Our library has many volumes that may be a good source of materials for your research. And Arkham is well known for its spectral history and rumors of elder magic. Miskatonic University could actually publish your research in its weekly newspaper if you're interested. But we can discuss that later. Can I take a look at your theorem? Sure. Let's see what we have here. Alright. I think I've got to grasp it. <laughs> it's like one sentence. Magic. Maths? Question mark? I think I've got a good grasp on your theory. So, are you just starting the project? Yes, I haven't had time to delve into it yet. Sure. Exams are tough enough on their own. We don't want to exhaust you with work. I'm sure you'll find interesting books to read at, in the regular collections. It's not wise at this point to jump right into the deep end. Once your theory is in the later stages, we'll discuss this more. Hmm. Alright. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. I'll be going now. Come back if you need any advice. And welcome to Miskatonic University. We have high hopes for you. Alright. We talk to him. So... It is noon. So we need to study the occult somehow. We can look for the uh, various books on the occult in the index. But for now, I'm thinking we should probably study for our exams and uh, for the chemistry as well. We can get rid of this chemistry pretty quick if I study it. Right. Let's study the Starry Messenger. I'm probably like getting one quick study. Galilei's discoveries were in conflict with the Potomac system. Because we all knew that. Uh, it is dusk. Right. Let. Uh, I'm a bit hungry. But I'm okay. Could I study one more time? I can. Galilei could spot 36 stars from the nebula Pallades with his telescope. The nebula Pallades. I finished the book, but there's still a lot to learn. I'll make fast progress on subsequent readings. I'm very hungry. Hmm, what time is it? It is late evening. I'm very hungry. I probably shouldn't risk going out. Um, no, let's go home. Let's play it safe and go home, and we can have one of our rations if we need to. Or we can just wait until the morning. Hey, Joe. You got any wood? Would you happen to have some wood? Yeah. Do you have another plank of wood I could take? Let me see. Nope, don't forgive any right now. Ask again in a day or two, and I have some later. Damn it. Well, we'll have to keep trying. See you around, Walter. And we check the mail. Damn it. <laughs> the... What were the chances that a bit of wood's gonna be in there, though? Come on. Right, it is late evening. I am hungry, which is minus two to health and studying. But, like I said before, we can study maths. And that doesn't require any percentage of studying, so we can just do that. My understanding of chemistry is getting better. I'm so hungry that it's getting difficult to focus. So neither of those two factors really matter, because as you can see, we still gained a level in chemistry. So if we do have status effects that are reducing our ability to study, it doesn't matter for the chemistry. Because each time you study it is a point, not instead of a percentage. Let's get some sleep. I slept well. I have a study session with Allison today. Ooh, let's go there now. So we don't miss it.
Doo -doo. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a ration just in case. Because that will affect my studying here. Do you want to order something before we start? The coffee key is quite decent, and I'm buying. You saved me a lot of trouble by finding that card. B you don't have to. I won't take no for an answer. Alright. Oh. In that case, I'll have a coffee. You got it. Let's get started then. Let's study. The four largest moons of Jupiter are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Exams plus four. Let's study. Galilei's linear telescope could magnify up to 20 times. But of course, we all knew that. We made serious progress, I think. Yes, this is quite helpful. It's good to have a dedicated study partner. But I need to rest now, I'm bushed. Let's do this again sometime. See you around. Alright, breaking news. Hmm. I have five dollars, I can get some breaking news. Alright kid, you've won me over. Read all about it. Hello. Good evening, sir. I'd like to buy a newspaper. One dollar, please. Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> what was that? Have a good day now, mister. Get your newspaper. Right, let's read the newspaper. Saturday, the March 6th. Oh, no. The weather forecast predicts several days of rain starting tomorrow. According to the paper, the rainy weather could last almost a week. I should get a raincoat. There's a charity bread line organized today. Hot soup and bread served to those in need. The event is sponsored by St. Cyprian's Mission. I'll add the event location to my map. Well, that's good to know. And we're right next to the place we can buy a raincoat. Oh! Do you happen to have a small plank or a piece of board for sale? I'm trying to seal a rat hole. No, oh, there's pesky little creatures. We don't sell lumber normally, but I might have something in for you in storage. Let's see. Yes, I think this would be suitable for your needs. Well, we can buy a bit of wood for... Oh, no. But a raincoat is four dollars. I need the raincoat. We're gonna... So the raincoat's gonna last us... Forever. Um, I have no money anymore. Damn it, kid. <laughs> you took my last dollar. Uh, but we have a raincoat now, which is gonna be very, very helpful in the coming weeks. Stop us getting sick. So, you eat yourself full of soup kitchen. While the warm soup tasted bland, it nourishes your body. We got a free meal. We, which is nice. We're nice and satiated now. We can head home. And we can go bother Joe about the wood. Joe! Joe, I want your wood. I mean the wood. Wo give me the wood. Hey, Joe. I heard you shot your old lady down. Yeah? Do you happen to have a bit of wood? Let me see. No, fuck you, Joe. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's just bad luck. Nothing. God, no one loves me. <laughs> Although Allison might. We, we can develop a relationship there. Right. Um, My exams are at 4.8. Which, yeah, I have five days to get that up to a nine or a ten. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's do some studying. Luna Mountains are approximately four miles high. And it's night. Let's get some sleep. Mm -hmm. Put my earplugs in just in case. I slept well. Ah, it's raining. It's Sunday. Uh, I think the university shut on Sunday. We're satiated, we're rested, we're doing fine. We're doing good even. I would, I would hazard to say we're doing great. Let's do some more studying. Galilei's discoveries were in conflict with the Potomac system. Once again. Late afternoon. Let's keep studying. Oh, I finished the book for the second time. There's still a lot to learn. I'll make faster progress with subsequent readings. I skipped over the first part. That's going to come up in the test. Absolutely. I'm hungry, but I've got no money. 
So sucks to be you, Walter. I mean, I I have I have some rations, but I that's a emergency situation. We need to keep those. Otherwise, it's gonna, we're gonna it's not gonna go well. Um. All right, let's keep studying, I guess. I need to get an A, an A plus. Four of the largest moons are Jupiter, or Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto Protocol, which is actually a decent game. I think people shout over it unnecessary, probably because they were rightfully comparing it to Dead Space, but I feel it was all right. It was perfectly fine. It was a totally okay six out of 10. Anyway, that'll be on the exam, absolutely. Uh-oh. Some kind of horrible beastie. And a, what a horrible dream. It looked like that rat had a tiny human face. Or was it a dream? Maybe I was only half awake and my dream got mixed up with reality. I must be doing something about those rats. They get my imagination working overtime. My earplugs have degenerated beyond use. I have to buy a new pair. Thanks for the run-on sentence, Walter. Oh. Did I hear footsteps? Where did they come from? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. So we had a dream about a rat with a human face. And now we're hearing sounds through the house. Hmm. Very odd. Very odd. The mystery continues. But I think this should be probably a good place to stop playing for now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I have a lot of fun playing this game. It's fun to be able to do the devices and be kind of silly. So this is a fun one. I do like. I do enjoy doing this uh, game. But uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of stuff. Because, you know, point-and-click adventures are kind of fun. It's something I keep meaning to get into. And there's a couple of them. There's, this one's probably my favorite one so far. Obviously, I'm a Lovecraft mark, so... It's, I, there's, there's a certain bias here. I will not lie. But yeah, there you go. This is a fun game. You should totally play it. This is a really, really fun game. I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, maybe there'll be some more. Who knows? We'll see. I might, I might do some more episodes. Continue with the Iron Man playthrough and see if it goes horribly wrong. Fortunately, right now, it's going really well. We're, we're getting through it. We've done our first, like, I think we've been here a week. But we got through that. I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm not insane, and I'm not dying. That's good. In the world of H.P. Lovecraft, that's probably as good as it's going to get. So yeah, if you want to see more, maybe there'll be more. Definitely leave a comment below if you want to see more or anything. Yeah, that's it for me. I will see you all next time. Say goodbye, Walter. Walter. God damn it.